Hello friends, in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install RSAT on Windows 10 computer. Microsoft Remote Server Administration Tools RSAT allows IT administrators to remotely manage different roles and features in Windows Server's 2008, 2012 or 2016 technical preview from the Windows 10 computer. Based on your Windows Server and your OS in your PC, you must download the appropriate version of Remote Server Administration Tool. Remote Server Administration Tools for Windows 10 include Server Manager, Microsoft Management Console Snap-ins, Windows PowerShell CMD Leads and Providers as well as Command Line Tools for managing rules and features that runs on Windows Servers. Remote Server Administration Tools for Windows 10 can be installed only on computers that are running on the full release of Windows 10 Professional or Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. There are two versions of RSAT tools, one for 32-bit machine and second one for 64-bit machine. You can download the version as per your Windows 10 computers from Microsoft website. So this is a website from where you can download Remote Server Administration tool for Windows 10. Let's click on download and here you can choose the versions of the RSAT tool which you want. This is the 64-bit and this one for 32-bit machine. Already I download the 64-bit uh, asset tool for our Windows 10 computer and this is this setup. Let's uh, install this uh, asset tool on this Windows 10 computer. Let's double click on it. Click on yes. Select I accept. This will then go through and install the update onto your machine and once complete you should reboot your computer. So as you can see the installation completes successfully. You must restart your computer for the updates to take effect. Let's click on restart now to restart this Windows 10 computer. So after restart, let's again log in to our Windows 10 computer using our Domain Administrator's account. So once you log into your Windows 10 computer as a Domain Administrator, let's click on Start button. Let's click on All Apps. And uh, let's expand Windows Administrative Tools. Now here you can see we have IDSI Edit, Active Directory Administrative Centers, Active Directory Users and Computers. All the management consoles are here. So this is the Active Directory Users and Computers Consoles. From this console, we can manage our Active Directory from Windows 10 computers. All tools are enabled by default. You do not need to open Turn Windows feature on or off in Windows 10 to enable tools that you want to use. But if you want to turn off specific tools, that time you have to open Turn on Windows feature on or off console. So if you want to turn off specific tools, just right click on Start button and select control panel. On a control panel, click on uninstall a program and here let's click on turn windows feature on or off. Now in the feature dialog box expand remote server administration tool. Let's expand remote server administration tool and then expand either role administration tools or feature administration tools depending on the specific tool you wish to disable. Clear the checkbox for the tool that you want to disable. Remember, if you choose to disable or remove Server Manager, you must restart the computer. When you finish turning off the tools that you do not want to use, then click on OK. So for this demonstration, I'm not going to remove any feature or rule administration tool. Let's click on Cancel and let's close this console as well. Now suppose if you want to uninstall remote server administration tools from Windows 10's computers. So what you can do? That time, you have to uninstall the updates from the control panel. Let's again open a control panel. Click on uninstall a program. Then uh, click on view install updates. And from here, you just have to uninstall these updates from Windows 10 computer. That will uninstall remote server administration tools from this Windows 10 computer. That's it. I hope these videos will uh, helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions and suggestion, free to leave them in comment section.